My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. Hey guys, I'm over at MSI now. Uh, this is not a suite, this is not a booth, it is a ballroom, the MSI ballroom uh, here at the Venetian. And uh, as you can see behind me, they have an array of really, really awesome boutique builds from their system integrator partners. I'm gonna end this video with a little montage of all that stuff. But first, uh, they have a new monitor that they're working on, and they also have a tiny little computer, and they also have a cool uh, Z370 motherboard that they got a Design and Innovation Award for. So let's check it out. All right, let's start off with the Design and Innovation Awards. They did get one for the MSI Lightning uh, GTX 1080 Ti, which is a really nice graphics card. And I'm not gonna talk about it, because 1080 Ti is old news. Let's talk about this right here, though. This is the Z370 Godlike Gaming. They have received a Design and Innovation Award for this. Uh, EATX form factor for a, a Z370 motherboard is, is kind of interesting, but it's got a killer extend. Killer networking switch and wireless extender, which I'm told is 10 gigabit. I believe it's 10 gigabit. If it's not 10 gigabit, then I'm wrong about that. But um, more to the point though, this is a LGA 1151 motherboard, so of course supports uh, Intel Coffee Lake processors, uh, four DDR4 slots. They got their uh, reinforced steel armor across the DIMM slots, as well as uh, all of the PCI Express expansion. We've got three, count them three, one, two, three M.2 slots going uh, between the PCIe slots there as well. And they have an 18 phase power delivery configuration going on up here at the top. Not only that, but they have some heat sinks built in there that actually look to be quite beefy and actually have some slotting going on and that kind of thing to enable air to flow through to hopefully keep those VRMs nice and cool when you're doing your overclocking. You got a four pin and eight pin supplemental CPU power connector. And flipping around here, on the top right, you can see there's a set of controls uh, specifically made for overclocking since this is a godlike motherboard. It's also going to have RGB lighting, uh, all of the good things that you would expect, Mystic-like compatible, of course, and Game Boost, uh, which is basically what they're referring to uh, that 18-phase power delivery configuration as. Next up is this tiny little computer. It's called the Trident 3 Arctic, also a receiver of a Design and Innovation Award. Tiny little computer here, but they have packed a lot of stuff into it. It's got an i7-8700 processor. It's got an Intel 300 series chipset motherboard, which I presume is a custom design by MSI. Uh, GTX 1070, 8 gig is integrated in there. 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, an M.2 2280 slot with a 256 gig PCIe SSD in there, as well as a one terabyte hard drive, as well as Intel wireless AC 3168 Wi-Fi, a 330 watt AC adapter for power, Silent Storm Cooling is what they're calling the cooling system integrated here. And I like the front I.O. on this. Uh, it's got a few USB 3.0 ports as well as a Type-C port. And then there is an HDMI out right on the front for some VR action. It's also got a little bit of RGB lighting in the top right corner. And then as you can probably tell, an all white design. And that's why it's called the Arctic version of the Trident 3. Moving over here to this monitor, MSI has been uh, busted into the monitor market and they've been trying to differentiate themselves with some designs that are, well, a little bit different and perhaps a little bit unique. This is the Optics MPG27CQ. Uh, the one we're looking at is a Q WQHD or 2560 by 1440, 27-inch monitor, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and it is a VA LED backlit curved panel with 144 hertz refresh rate and a one millisecond response time. And those are, of course, all very good stats for gaming. So they've apparently designed a, a pretty solid monitor when it comes to the base specs, but to make it a little different, they have this uh, set of LEDs going across the bottom of the monitor. These light up in rainbow fashion, as you can possibly see right now. Uh, there's actually eight individual LEDs in each of these five strips, but you can also use it along with the SteelSeries software in order to actively engage those LED strips while you're playing a game, such as CSGO. So, for instance, you can set up uh, some, a couple of those bars to indicate your health and a couple of the bars to indicate your, uh, your ammo, and maybe the middle bar is going to indicate when you get headshots, and it'll count up when you get headshots. Then you can play the game, and right there below the screen, in an area that's still fairly accessible to your eyeballs, uh, you can see what's going on with some of your stats in the game. So that's somewhat useful, I think. Another cool feature is that it's actually got a USB connection to your computer in order to control those LEDs, but there's also an on-screen display utility that you can access from within Windows, and you can use that to do stuff with the monitor that you would normally have to use the monitor controls in order to do. 
such as brightness and, and that kind of thing. You can also use this to set up profiles, associate them with games, and that makes it a lot easier to get your monitor set up and configured when you want to play a specific game with a specific configuration. MSI has also uh, put some bling on the back of this monitor, and depending on where your monitor is, this may or may not be useful to you, but uh, it's got a pretty cool effect. You can also control this with the software uh, for the uh, LEDs on it, and that's pretty cool. And then uh, for controls for the monitor, they've actually integrated a little thumb knob or a little, little four-way uh, jog dial thing right there, uh, so you can reach around behind the back to use that to control it. I'm on the fence about that implementation, but it is there and that's how you would access stuff, but hey. But if you don't like that or it's not your thing, then uh, you can go ahead and use the controls from within Windows and just uh, connect up that USB connection for that. Oh, hi Paul. Finally here we have Edsel. Edsel <laughs> is uh, he's a very great cinematographer and I like this thing he has going to keep his glasses on. It's very, it's very practical, very functional. Uh, you know, you could probably, you could keep money in that. Just put the money into the strap. Also holding his hat on and also greatly improves his cinematography skills, as you can probably see right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah, that's what we're doing. We're talking about products here. Um, see, we're, we're trying to film this, mo this laptop and this lady just came up and picked it up and causes problems. Anyway, this is a GE63 Raider RGB edition. A uh, very similar design to the G63s they've had in the past. It's got some new features though, some macro options that you can set up with the keys uh, to actually integrate with the games you're playing and that kind of thing. I don't go into too much of detail as far as how that works, but they want to at least show you uh, the design because it's pretty cool looking and they've added these RGB strips along the back. Now what they said they wanted people to do with this is like if you're going to be gaming and streaming from your laptop, then point your camera at yourself while you're gaming on the laptop and then your people watching the stream can see these LED lights on the back of the laptop. I, again, am not sure if that's gonna be a real or practical thing or not. It seems a little odd to me. But effectively, you can do, use the same function for the monitor I just showed you and set it up with these LEDs and, and basically do the same thing. And it's also still controllable by that uh, Steel Series software. So, um, you know, either it's gonna make your laptop look pretty or maybe you're, when, you're, when you're streaming, people can watch and have fun. And there it is, guys, my quick tour of the MSI ballroom area here at the Venetian. And as promised, I've made my way back over to here where they have all the system integrator systems. And starting down there with Origin, uh, let's take a look at these epic builds with Origin, Zydax, CyberPower, iBuyPower, but I didn't get footage of that one, so who cares about that? Uh, there's a main gear system, but I did a video on main gears uh, builds, so check out the main gear video if you want to see more of those. We also have uh, Computer Upgrade King, CLX, Digital Storm, and Exotic PC. So if you guys enjoyed this montage, hit the thumbs up button if you do, and of course stay tuned for more coverage from CES 2018 here in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming very soon. Uh, hit the subscribe button, and uh, there's, there's Ed again. Everyone say hi to Ed. Hi, Ed. Now he went away. He's very shy. Ed's very shy. Anyway, a big final thank you to my sponsors, of course, uh, Enermax, OCC Toshiba, Deep Cool, and Cooler Master. And we'll see you guys in the next video.